Hello everyone, welcome to another animated decal tutorial. As it is Christmas, we will be doing the snowstorm and the gift storm decals. Um, these will be, or well, this will be a very quick uh, episode, hopefully, or video. Um, what will take time is that there are different colours that control um, the speed and animation of these decals, so I'll be going over that a little in a little bit more in depth. Um, but this should still be quite a quick episode. So what we'll start with is get the Gift Storm decal. Uh, we'll go into Alpha Console. We have our developer mode uh, enabled. We can see all this uh, on the green text and these parameter boxes. So let's go through finding the parameters and decals that we need. Uh, blend decal noise. Uh, effects noise one. And that looks to be it. So just the blue and green gifts and the green and pink what they party streamers. So they are the ones you need to uh, need to have. I've already ripped them from the game, so we're ready to go. And here we have everything uh, imported already. So I've got our base decal, the blue and green gifts. This is what we'll be working on first. The first thing I've done is I have used the endpoint logo. Uh, I've just painted it blue. Uh, place it around like, random places. If we show the original decal, some line up with the original textures. Others are just, you know, random. So this is the one we'll use first. Um, just so we can, I can show you the colors and how it moves and how it affects the, the decal itself in game. So we just use the standard blue for the moment. So what I've done is I have made a layer just for the standard blue. Um, there's no green on there at all. And all you can see here is a black, uh, the logo that we've made. So if we go into the garage, customize car. So the primary is already controlled and the black is what's changeable that blue is changing the color of the of the logo what we're going to do now is the same but instead of the blue we'll enable the green so you can see how this works and refresh so what you can see here is we've got some white logos and some logos that look sort of tilted uh, at a 90 degree angle. I think is that 90? I don't know. Whatever. Um, so yeah, so we haven't really done any tilting on the or rotating on the decal itself. We've just got a standard green. Um, but as you can see in game, these are these duplicated and also rotated. Um, so if we go through changing the colors, you can see the black ones are changing color, but the big white ones aren't. So now if we put them both together, so blue and green. You see the we have the big black, which are changeable colors, the big whites, which aren't changeable and the smaller rotated logos, um, which also are changeable. So as, as we go through, you can see how they look. While on the subject of this layer, if I was to show you the original decal, you can see that there is, let's take the blue box, for example, you have the blue which is sort of the outline of the box but then you've got this black area or black mass inside and if I was to show you the original decal what you can see is the black box or the box which is color changeable currently set to black but if I move it you can see it change but also what you can see is the inside is white even though on here uh, no, that's audacity even though in here, it's just straight black. 
to achieve this effect if I was to get my color picker and pick the colors around the outside of the box you can see it's purely black uh, zero red zero green zero blue fully uh, full alpha but if I was to select this layer or this part inside of the uh, inside of the, the box you can see that the blue has a value of 10 so there's actually color inside this to allow this white to happen and it's the same with the the, the green box as well you can see here um, if I was to go to a green part outside of the box as I click around all set to zero but yet yeah, as soon as I go inside here set to 13 and that's the same with the sort of lower opacity ones around it it's all zero inside 10 um, again around the green zero but inside is two so that's how you would achieve that effect just a very low opacity color of blue or green so we've got one part of the parameter done our first parameter this controls the, the presence themselves the blue and green if we look at the original decal uh, you've got these faded ones uh, again what we're going to do is I have the logos just placed around I've also made a separate folder with separate layers these are for the, the faded logos I've got one for blue one for green so if I was to just have the blue faded ones we can export that there's not much of a difference you can see um, it's just slightly smaller versions of this this bigger uh, bigger logo to actually show what it does so let's turn off the uh, let's turn off the green here so we've got our main big blue and then a smaller uh, transparent blue So here you go now you can see the smaller transparent blues have white that is the same principle of the present boxes how the you get the white inside of the box this is the same principle so these smaller ones can't be um, color changed but the bigger ones with full opacity <clears throat> full opacity can be if I was to do the same with green and then let's turn green back on so we have everything and refresh you see we've got little faded ones that sort of disappear as they go up the car um, this is now everything working as it should be for this first parameter Next, we move on to this party stream, whatever I think that's party streamers they look like. So here we have it imported into GIMP. We have a pink, or was that a purpley sort of color, um, and green. These are the second layers or the second parameters that we are going to be doing. So again, this time I've used the Alpha Console logo. Um, what I need to do is I already have it set. But if I just come on pink and then I'll just invalidate this file um, the alpha console doesn't read the S on the end it's the, the file it's reading is blue green uh, or what it's looking for is blue green but putting an S on the end invalidates it so it can it, uh, it won't be set so let's save this uh, we want green and pink replace if I was to now refresh we have the presence back because it's been um, that file has been renamed 
Um, but what we can see is the Alpha Console logo. And this is now color changeable. So that's what the pink controls. And do the same, but with green. Now we have standard white um, Alpha Console logos and they can't be changed. So what we'll do, we'll do the same again. We'll have both of them on and I'll also have another folder with faded versions of these uh, logos. So we'll have all of them activated and refresh. Now you can see the same as the GIFs, the faded ones sort of fade as they go up to the car, uh, slightly smaller ones, and some of them can be changed colour, some of them can't. So now if I was to change this back and refresh, this is now a fully customized uh, gift storm decal. Okay, so next up we have the snowstorm decal. This is pretty much the same as the gift storm, uh, but the animation itself is a bit slower. Plus, you have a third parameter this time, which causes, I don't know if we can find a good color, but you have these sort of flex. Um, that are going across the car, the sort of snow effect. Um, this is its own parameter. Uh, you can customize this if you like, or you can eliminate this completely. Um, we'll go over that in a bit later. So the parameters for this one, if we flick through, Blend decal noise. This is the that um, small paint effect, or sorry, the small snow effect. Those little flecks um, that go across. That's this. Uh, what do we need? Effects noise one, and that's it. Just effects noise. It goes on both layers, but this is the decal your your uh, texture you're after. So effects noise one and two and decal blend noise are the parameters that you want. So here it is in GIMP. Uh, again, what I've got is groups, oh sorry, folders separating blue, green, and red. And inside I have, again, the full opacity and then slightly transparent layers. So here are the green layers. We've got the full green and then again, the slightly transparent green. I think these are set to 10 opacity. Yeah, 10 opacity. Um, and then the big ones here are full opacity. So let's export this one first. So before we get started with this, what I've done is I have got rid of the those flakes. Um, to do that, all I've done is simply made a transparent layer. Really transparent, there's nothing on it. And I have set that to the blend decal noise parameter. So with the green that we've just made, you have the larger Alpha Console logos um, and fully um, slightly smaller but transparent logos as well. And they are both uh, color changeable. And as you can see, uh, due to the transparency, some the smaller ones or the more opaque ones, I guess, um, they have less color value to it.
So now what we're going to do is just have the blue showing. Again, we've got larger blue logos, which are full opacity. And then these slightly smaller ones are about set to 10. So let's just refresh. Again, these are color changeable. And now we move on to something quite weird. If I, how can I show you this at the start? So let's go back to the original decal. If we look at the decal itself, we have these red um, images. And these are slightly different to the green ones. They look differently. So there's only sort of two prongs going into the snowflake where these are like four um, and there's no real sort of snowflake pattern in the middle however if we look on the decal in game there's nothing like that all we see are these four pronged snowflakes and these bigger ones which are the blues yeah so there are no decals or there are no images of this red snowflake. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's intended, um, but the, it's the same for your custom decal. If you paint in red, you won't get the red in game. So if I, if we were to activate our blue and green layers, which we have, so we shall save that. And we shall add our decal. See here we have the endpoint and alpha console logos, the blue and green. But what I've done here is I've got a new folder and new layers. This is NRG, which is red. So I shall save this. Here, here's the decal itself, so you can see that it is saved. And if I was to refresh the decal, you have nothing. There's no NRG. So again, I don't know if the red is bugged or if this is intended by Psyonix, by Rocket League. Um, but your red layer doesn't work, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, to fill out the space or this empty space, you can either enlarge your logos or just make more of them. Um, but now we come on to this, which is the that sort of snow flake effect. Uh, I'm not going to be editing that because I, I personally find the original just to be okay. But what I will do is I will put, does it still work? Yes. This is the original texture. I shall save that. As I've made changes to the JSON file, I need to do AC plugin underscore reload decals. And refresh the decal. And now we have these specs back. white's a, a better color so you can see them again you can customize this portion of it um, if you want it you would need to make your um, your texture very small if you look at if you look at it in, and compare it to in game it is very small work that you need to do but yes that is both uh, both holiday decals, Snowstorm and Giftstorm. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I hope this helped you. There's only going to be two this time because I couldn't really find a quick third one um, as sort of a, a bonus. I did find one, but it wasn't really Christmassy themed. Um, so I'll just cover that next time. As for the next decal video, don't know quite yet what that will be or when it will be out 
um, but the same as the previous videos you in the the in the description you have the full asset drive which i've created um so you can go there and download the original assets and also i will leave a link for the original playlist that this will be in so if you have missed any videos or you want to go check them out uh, you can do but thank you so much for watching uh have a merry christmas i'm thinking we're recording this a day before christmas so i hope you have a wonderful time and we shall see you later peace out